So this is our first of uh, many sorghum harvests. We're probably gonna have about at least 20 harvests like this. Here we have two types of sorghum. We have uh, broom corn sorghum, the black sorghum and the red sorghum. And we also have uh, coral sorghum, this one which is green and red over here and over here. And the coral sorghum is also a type of syrup sorghum. So we can make molasses out of this. And we have a third type that I haven't started harvesting yet. So here it is. So this is some of our sugarcane sorghum. Uh, most of it is in our main garden uh, uh, at the front of the house. Uh, but we have some here that's already uh, ripe, ready to pick uh, for, the, for the grain up top, which we can use to make bread and cakes and stuff, make flour with it. And also for the cane on the bottom. I'm going to show you now what it looks like. Not quite the same thing as the sugar cane that's grown down down south, but it's delicious. So here we have. So this is the uh, this is the grain that we can use to make bread with, and here is the sugar cane. So what we do is we basically this is a node. These are nodes, leaf nodes, and we cut between the leaf nodes. Uh, in order to be able to get at the sugar cane and I don't have a knife with me so I'm just going to do this with my teeth so you just peel off the outer hard skin of the stem like this as you can see it's easy enough it's not as hard as the the real thick sugar cane and well, it's very juicy and very sweet and you can pass this through some kind of a press in order to get the juice out or you can cut it into small pieces maybe put it into a good strong blender to get the juice out or you could also boil it to get the juice out or you can do this and you can chew it that's uh that's some uh, sugar cane sorghum and here is our main uh, syrup sugarcane uh, planted. We have it planted elsewhere as well, but this is the main one and it looks like it's actually almost ripe. So as you can see here, uh, I'm showing you as I'm uh, piling up some broom corn out, uh, out in one of the, the areas where we planted quite a bit of broom corn, piling it up here. And now I'm going to show you what we do with the broom corn until we're ready to use it. So here we are, we're in the garage and uh, I've, I've cut the, uh, the broom corn uh, stems shorter and they're just hanging here in the garage and we let them hang here until we're either, rather, either ready to make some flour with it or we're ready to, you know, remove the, remove the seeds from the, from the stems to uh, jar them up uh, to be able to, so they take a bit up a little bit of less space. But for the moment, they're here in our garage, um, along with uh, some of our garlic. A sorghum testing area. I've transplanted these super late in the season and the plants were really not too happy in their little pots, but we managed to get some sorghum from them. So I know I can grow sorghum in this little section. I also tested sorghum at the end of our pumpkin patch and it did super well. And this sorghum we transplanted super late as well. 